TTIP. That sounds rather boring, and it's meant to, because behind this bland and technical name is a hidden agenda that you're not supposed to know about. Since the 1980s, it's become very popular to privatise state assets and get rid of rules that regulate the market. However, the promised benefits of privatisation and liberalisation rarely came true. That's why more and more people are questioning these policies and want to reverse them. This is where TTIP comes in. TTIP would cement the current level of privatisation and force us further down liberalisation lane. How? Say we want to introduce new legislation to protect our health, the environment or labour rights. This legislation would first have to be checked by a transatlantic authority established by TTIP. If it thought that the new rules might harm business interests, it would advise policymakers against implementation of those rules. So-called stakeholders would also be invited to comment. This would effectively give unelected bureaucrats and business lobbyists the right to co-write our laws. Another mechanism to stop us from raising protection standards is called ISDS, Investor State Dispute Settlement. This would give foreign investors the right to sue our government if they felt that new rules were harming their profits. We could be forced to pay millions, even billions in compensation and governments would think twice before introducing new rules. Once signed by the EU and the US, it's almost impossible to change or terminate TTIP. We'd be locked in for generations, unable to choose alternative routes towards a society we want. That's why we have to act now, before it's too late. Add your voice to our European Citizens Initiative against TTIP and CETA, a similar agreement the EU wants to sign with Canada. More than two million Europeans have already signed. Fight with us for real democracy. Together we can stop TTIP and CETA.